The Kansas City Chiefs are breaking the rules and the NFL hates it. So we're gonna be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video and if you want more Kansas City Chiefs news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is the Kansas City Chiefs could sign a free agent fit for cost-effective ex-Bills captain and could break the NFL. Opinions are mixed on the Kansas City Chiefs secondary following the Algerius Sneed trade with the Tennessee Titans. The staunch KC believers will tell you that this unit will be fine without Sneed. Defensive coordinator Steve Spagnuolo and DB's coach Dave Merritt have done a great job developing cornerbacks and safeties in the past, and they'll continue to do so in 2024. The other side of the debate will tell you that the Chiefs need to make at least one veteran addition in the secondary, whether at cornerback or safety. Remember, Kansas City lost Mike Edwards in free agency too. Last word on sports analyst David Latham suggested that reinforcement be longtime Buffalo Bills starter Micah Hyde on March 28th. While Trent McDuffie is great and Shamari Connor showed some promise as a rookie, this team needs to find at least one more cornerback and could use another safety, Latham argued regarding the Chiefs. Micah Hyde is a cost-effective free agent, and having a player who can patrol the deep part of the field is vital when opposing offenses will be throwing early and often to try and keep up with Patrick Mahomes, he continued, stating his case. Hyde's contract extension expired this spring after turning 33 in December. He's not in the prime of his career anymore, but he's still a former second-team All-Pro and Pro Bowler that put up solid numbers in 2023, plus he's an ex-team captain and a positive locker room presence. Due to an oversaturated safety market, Hyde might have to settle for a cheap veteran deal with a win-now franchise if he elects to try for one more Super Bowl run in 2024. Who better to do that with than the Chiefs? The Chiefs' safety room has three key pieces that are guaranteed to make the 53-man roster, barring health. Those players are Justin Reed, Brian Cook, and the aforementioned Connor. Assuming his ankle is back to full strength, one would expect Cook to retake his place as the second starter alongside Reed heading into training camp. Connor would then slot in as the versatile third safety at this time. Behind those three, the depth is uncertain. The Chiefs brought back veteran special teamer Dion Bush once again, and they also have a couple of flyers on the 90-man roster in 2023, Yudfe Trey Dean and NFL journeyman Tyree Gillespie. Hyde would likely play an auxiliary role in Kansas City if he came aboard. The question is whether or not the Chiefs want to add some quality experience behind Cook and Connor, and whether or not the longtime starter would sign up for a depth role in KC. If both of those answers are yes, Hyde feels like a good fit to replace Edwards. If one were arguing against pursuing Hyde as a third or fourth safety, they might cite his coverage analytics in 2022 and 2023. Hyde has always been a coverage DB, known for his instinct, ball-hawking ability and versatility as a pass defender. According to Pro Football Focus, however, that top attribute has taken a noticeable hit as Hyde has aged as has the rest of his game. Over the past two seasons, the longtime safety's passer rating against has ballooned from 78.8 up to a career high, 121.1. Hyde didn't play much in 2022 due to injury, but he also registered career highs for his reception rate allowed over the past two years, with four touchdowns against in 2023. Hyde's most recent missed tackle rate isn't far off from his career average, but his run defense grades have dipped along with the coverage numbers. The vet did snag two interceptions for Buffalo last year, so one part of his game appears to have remained intact. Having said that, Hyde is no longer the star difference maker he used to be. Of course, he wouldn't necessarily need to be either. The second story is, why former Bills player couldn't be the WR1 Patrick Mahomes desperately needs Stefan Diggs and the Kansas City Chiefs were just about ready to finalize their relationship until there was a downer at their party. The killjoy in question? The Buffalo Bills. A dominant team always has a target on its back, especially from rival clubs. And the Bills weren't about to let their star receiver walk into the arms of their playoff nemesis. Despite the whirlwind of rumors swirling around the potential trade, it fizzled out faster than a botched flea flicker. Dubbed the supervillains of the league, the Chiefs found themselves in an unenviable position, a forbidden destination for players seeking greener pasturus. 
Rumor had it that teams outright refused to entertain any notion of sending talent to the Red Army, fearing the juggernaut they might become with Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid at the helm. Yet, amid the allure of Mahomes' magic and Reid's strategic genius, Buffalo stood firm. They weren't about to strengthen the NFL's newest dynasty at their own expense. No matter the scenario, the Bills were resolute. Diggs wasn't bound for the heart of the Red Kingdom. The whispers of a clandestine meeting between Diggs and the Chiefs ignited in the aftermath of the Bills' heart-wrenching defeat, the very defeat that dashed their Super Bowl dreams. Suddenly, Diggs, with his flair for the dramatic, took center stage in Buffalo. Fulling speculation and intrigue, the Bills' daunting salary cap woes added fuel to the already ragging fire. With an estimated $46 million over the 2024 NFL salary cap, they faced a fiscal mountain too steep to climb. Enter Diggs, with his hefty $28.75 million cap hit, looming as a potential solution to their financial conundrum. The prospect of a post-June 1st trade involving Diggs promised a lifeline, potentially salvaging nearly $20 million in cap space for the Bills. Suddenly, what once seemed improbable began to take shape as a financially viable option, casting a shadow of uncertainty over Diggs' future in Buffalo. The rumor mill went into overdrive fueled by Diggs' enigmatic social media posts and a noticeable dip in his on-field performance. NFL notifications tweeted suggesting Diggs might not don the Bills' jersey next season, pointing to his lackluster year and off-season theatrics as potential catalysts for an exit. This tweet, coupled with journalist Stephen A. Smith's earlier remarks about Diggs eyeing an escape from Buffalo, lent credence to the swirling trade talks. On the flip side, the Kansas City Chiefs, fresh off a triumphant season, found themselves grappling with deficiencies in their wide receiver core. The prospect of bolstering their offense with a talent like Diggs was undeniably tantalizing, sparking excitement throughout the Red Kingdom. With Magic Mahomes aiming for the elusive three-peat, the Chiefs stood poised to make a splash. Adding to the intrigue, the Chiefs emerged as frontrunners in the race to secure the four-time Pro Bowl wideout services boasting favorable odds in the eyes of pundits and fans alike. However, navigating the intricate complexities of orchestrating such a high-profile trade posed a formidable challenge for the franchise. Nevertheless, the Bills' steadfast refusal to trade within the AFC was a major chip on their shoulder, particularly when considering the direct rivalry with the Chiefs, who had recently dealt them a bitter defeat in the AFC Championship game. The Bills harbored no inclination to lend a hand to the very team that had become the bane of their existence, their nemesis, even if it meant parting ways with Diggs for what some may deem as a modest return. A mere second-round pick along with a couple of late-round selections and shouldering a hefty $31 million dead cap hit, Buffalo remained resolute. They were unwavering in their commitment to their principles, refusing to budge despite the allure of potential benefits and the looming presence of an up-and-coming AFC adversary. As the offseason unfolded, it was evident that the Bills were leaving no stone unturned in their quest to tackle their cap conundrum head-on. Rumors circulated that Buffalo was actively engaged in restructuring contracts with a keen eye on key players like Diggs in a bid to carve out the much-needed cap space. Ultimately, the rumored trade that would have seen Stefan Diggs don the colors of the Kansas City Chiefs remained just that, a rumor. A concoction of fiscal constraints, strategic evaluations, and the inherent caution of dealing a star player within conference lines kept Diggs anchored in Buffalo for the foreseeable future. The third story is Kansas City Chiefs star who won two Super Bowls agrees $24 million new contract to stay with Patrick Mahomes' team. Mike Dana has penned a multi-year contract extension with the Kansas City Chiefs. The defensive end agreed to a three-year, 24 million deal with the reigning Super Bowl champions. Dana will pick up a guaranteed 13 million as part of his new contract. The 26-year-old enjoyed a career year in 2023 as he put up impressive numbers across the board. He recorded three tackles as the Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers at the Super Bowl to secure his second career ring. Across the season, he started 16 games and set career highs with 50 tackles and 6.5 sacks. A flexible option, Dana can line up on the edge or across the defensive line. Drafted by the Chiefs in the fifth round in 2020, his re-signing at Arrowhead has proved popular with the fan base. 
You can see how much he means to that defense. I am so glad we brought him back, wrote one Chiefs fan on X. So glad we re-signed Mike Dana. Dude is absolutely underrated and the players love him, said another. Happy he got his payday. He is a very solid DE. All he does is go to work, commented a third. One of the most underrated players on defense, added a fourth. The Chiefs hope to record a historic three-peat next season as they target a third straight Super Bowl triumph. Quarterback Patrick Mahomes is already back in the gym hard at work ahead of the 2024 campaign. Kansas City has made moves in free agency to bolster Mahomes' offensive options. They have brought in wide receiver Marquise Brown and signed running back Clyde Edwards-Hilaire to a one-year extension. Dana's signing allows the team to move focus away from the edge position in this month's NFL draft.